Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to isolate vocals in Audacity. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. It's a pretty simple thing to do, and it's included right inside Audacity. So here's a jingle I've got. Let's play this back. There's the music. Free jingle Friday. You got all the instruments, the bass, and everything going on underneath. But if you go into the effect menu up here, you'll see right near the bottom vocal reduction and isolation. Let's give this a whirl. And now there are a few different presets. Let's make sure we go to the default factory preset and then select isolate vocals. There is one that inverts as well, but just isolating vocals will be absolutely fine. Let's preview it out of the box, see how it sounds. It's done a bit of isolation, but you know, it could be a little bit better. I can hear the bass kind of clunking away, the doomph, doomph, doomph. So I turned the low cut up to eliminate some of that. Let's not go too crazy. 169 should be good. And lots of the bass gone. I feel there could be a bit more high end there in the voice. So let's turn the high end cut off up and listen now. Okay, we're getting a crisper vocal. Now there is still some music going on in the background, so we're gonna try and tune this now that we've pulled the low cut up to get rid of the bass instruments, and we've tuned the high cut up a bit to crisp out the voice and keep some of those high-end frequencies in the vocals. Let's turn the strength up ever so slightly because the strength is strong. It's kind of like putting sriracha sauce on something. Preview, it's better. But of course, it's reducing the quality of the vocal. So you really need to dial this in carefully. Again, up to nearly three on strength. And you've got this. Pretty good at isolating vocals there. I mean, I could push this up. Maybe we'll make it 250 for the low cutoff. Let's try again. And when I'm happy with that, I click OK. And you'll see these vocals isolated here in the waveform. Absolutely amazing. Next, I would probably go into effect and I would normalize this up to a peak amplitude of minus one so I can really see those vocals. And then I might go ahead and use something uh, like a, a noise gate to get rid of some of the rest of the music. And then hopefully I'm using this to remix those vocals in some way. And once I put another piece of music underneath or another drum loop or something underneath, we'll drain out even more, anything that may be left over. Now, of course, suffice to say, there are other plugins out there that you can use. Uh, some of them are a lot better at it than the native Audacity effect, but I think for free, that's pretty good. I've done other videos on my channel you might want to check out about vocal isolation and also background music removal and all that kind of good stuff, creating karaoke tracks. Just make sure to sort them out, get them into your playlist, check the links down below and at the end of this video if you're interested in watching more. Thanks for watching. Check out my Audacity Ultimate Course for Beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Music Radio Creative.